There is one main driver of property price growth in Australia, and the good thing is that all of this information is publicly available. This is a roadmap to making more money when you buy property. Now, when you own property, whether it's a house or a unit, if you buy in an area where the population density is changing, the property is going to be end up being worth more or less. If the population density is growing, it ends up being worth more because people generally pay more to live in a house than an apartment. They pay more to live in a block of a small block of apartments compared to a big block of apartments. And then there's the potential for developers to purchase property in areas where population density is increasing. That means that your property ends up being more valuable. Now the changes in population density around Australia is all publicly available in this new report from CoreLogic, which basically breaks down the biggest property markets, how the population density is changing, and give you some insights into the areas that are gonna perform best moving forward. The top five most densely populated property areas in Australia, uh, interestingly, they're all in Sydney. So number five is Haymarket, then we've got Sydney South, Darlinghurst, Surrey Hills, and Potts Point or Woolloomooloo coming in at the densest population area. Now a tip for investors here, when you're investing, you typically want to avoid the most densely populated areas, but instead find the ones that are very nearby. That's where you're going to get the biggest benefit from changes in the population density over time. And typically what happens is that the prop, the densely, the most densely populated areas, that it ends up spreading out over time. So you can expect surrounding suburbs to increase their density, and increase the property values along with it. This is probably the single biggest factor when it comes to property price growth, so don't ignore it.